you guys can beat teams so many different ways. But uh, just talk a little bit about how uh, Marcus's hot hand really got you going and he was able to sustain that. Well, anytime a team zones you, um, they're taking something away and, and they're giving something up. You know, Marcus is, uh, all, of our, all of our shooters have the green light. You know, <clears throat> there's no sense being a good shooter, working at, working at being a good shooter and then getting to the to level that he is if he doesn't have a green light. Um, you know, when he was a freshman last year, he had some games where he made five or six. This year he made, had a game where he made seven, tonight eight. So uh, none of this is ever surprising. Um, you know, I think Quentin was four for eight last game. He's four for 10. You know, Cam, Cam um, uh, got in the rotation and played against zones like that. Um, you know, he can make seven or eight too. So we, we have, we have good, those three guys, those three guys are probably our best shooters. Um, but, you know, credit those guys for moving the ball and finding them too. You know, we were intentionally throwing it inside tonight to throw it outside because uh, we, we were trying to get them collapsed. We threw it into Bryson one time and Bryson forgot and tried to do a post move. Of course that didn't turn out well, but um, um, good, good to see Mark Marcus is, since he came back from his uh, 11, you know, when you don't touch a basketball for 10 days, you just don't start off at the same level. It takes a while to get back. You know, so that, that's why it's good to see Marcus. He's been shooting it better in practice than he is in games. But, um, you know, it's, it's, it's not as easy as it looks when you've been out with COVID. Um, and he was in the last batch that tested uh, positive, so. Um, his his was more recent. All right, we'll go to Joseph Duarte with the Chronicle. Joseph, go ahead, please. Um, Kelvin, you kind of answered uh, my question, but I let, let me see if I can kind of go in a different direction. With with Marcus, uh, I think you've mentioned several times about his ability with that kind of that catch and quick release. I mean, it's a lot of that is what he does. I mean, is that what allows him to to maybe be as effective where he does get rid of it as quickly as he does and, you know, is able to, you know, yeah. maybe go away from the defender. I think all eight of his threes came on an assist. So they were catching, catching shoot shots versus off the bounce. Uh, Marcus is, uh, I might be wrong there. I think at least one might've been, but um, Marcus is a uh, East West dribbler. He's not a North South guy. Um, so when he uses the bounce, he's trying to create space. But tonight he didn't have to do that. Or, you know, they were playing a uh, matchup zone where you're not going to get a shot on the first or second or third pass. At some point you have to either penetrate with the dribble or penetrate with the pass. <clears throat> there's no there's no difference getting the ball inside the paint with the pass versus the dribble. You know, it's still penetration. And um, I thought we did a good job of uh, executing our stuff tonight and moving it. Um, and, uh, and finding Marcus and Marcus has a, um, when he's on, you know, he's like, you know, Corey Davis, uh, Armani Brooks, Damian Dobson. We've had some gifted shooters, uh, that's come through here over the years. And, uh, Marcus is right, right in that class with those guys. Thank you, Joseph. We'll go to Mark Berman, 526. Mark, go ahead. Kevin, I know you've heard this, this kind of question before, but you're rebounding, at least from where I sit, seemed pretty dominant. And uh, Gresham had a, a big rebound in the first half for a follow that when you first got separation and then Justin had a rebound that tipped, it got you up 17 second half. What did you think of your rebounding? Well, Bryson has been in my crosshairs uh, the last uh, few days. Um, not rebounding the level we need him to, or he's capable of. So. Uh, before the game, um, I made a little bit of a uh, um, historical comparison for him this year versus last year, where he is, where he needs to be. And, there, and rebound is just energy and effort. But um, uh, I don't, I don't know if you knew this or not, Mark. But we were the number one rebounding team in the nation last year with uh, different. Remember that. Okay, we'll go to Chris Baldwin with Paper City Magazine. Chris, go ahead with your question, please. 
Coach, after um, Caleb made his decision, did you did you talk to Marcus or, or any other any of the other guards about you know what they might have to do in his absence or if roles would change at all? No. No, those guys' roles didn't change, and they don't have to. Uh, Mark, uh, the, the guy that um, we need to uh, just continue to improve and evolve is Tremont. Um, and Mark was our leading scorer a lot of nights last year. Uh, Quentin was our lead scorer most of the games this year. So it's next man up. You know, three years ago, we lost um, – Four critical pieces, uh, Rob Gray, Devin Davis, Nurizana, and Wes Van Bett. That's four critical pieces. The, the next year, uh, we go 33 and four. And then that year, we lost four more pieces. We lost Corey Davis, Galen Robinson, Armani Brooks, and uh, Breon Brady. So that's four starters, okay? Last year to this year, we lost Chris Harris. We lost Fabian White, we lost Nate Hinton, and we lost Caleb Mills. So the last three or four years, how many years is that? Uh, three. So the last three years, we've lost four starters every year. You know, that's, uh, I think that's a sign of a great program. You just move on. I, every, every time we lose someone, I never talk to anybody about your role changing. You know, we just change channels. We may not play the same way, um, but we still play Cougar basketball. You know, um, we're going to score points. You know, it's not like Caleb was averaging 20 points a game. He's averaging nine. I think we can find somebody to score nine points. All right, we'll go to Chris Gardner, please. Chris, go ahead. Coach, just um, talk about what uh, Camp Tyson has been through, I guess, since the summer to now and what he could bring to the, the team going forward. <laughs> Well, they were zoning us tonight. Not a lot of teams zone us in this league. Um, most teams in this league are pressure man to man, you know, and um, um, I, I wanted to get Cam in some of the earlier games, but he's not as good a defender as some of those other guys, you know. Um, you know, and his, he's another kid that went through COVID. All these kids have, so that's that's why, you know, I have an inside perspective on where they are and and their um, status, whether it's inside the hierarchy of the team or or uh, physically or medically with them. But um, there's nobody I was more happy for than Cam. Cam Cam works at his craft. Um, when we went to uh, Italy two summers ago, um, our leading three-point shooter, I think Cam was eight for 18. He's actually 10 for 20, but he had two, two uh, threes that he called, he made, he made the threes, but it's, he's, they said he stepped out of bounds uh, prior to the kick or prior to the shot. So we know that Cam can shoot the ball, but you know, um, Quentin Grimes is pretty good. Dejan Giroux is pretty good. Uh, Marcus Sasser's pretty good. Um, those guys are ahead of him. Uh, Tremont Mark, you know, we, we've made a concerted effort to let him play through uh, some mistakes and so he can get his confidence and groove back. And, and, I'm, and I'm seeing signs and flashes of that with him. And then uh, um, Jamal is our uh, probably our fifth guard right now. And that, that position is probably half between Jamal and Cam. Some nights we'll have... Cam's going to see a few more minutes, and then some nights um, Jamal may. So it's you know you never know, but um, I'm really 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 uh, happy for Cam tonight, you know, and um, and I'm sure I'm not alone. I'm, I, I think all of our all of our guys, I know all our coaches, we're we're all just thrilled because every time he shoots, it, we think it's going to go in, but it's a lot easier to get him a shot versus zones than it is man. But um, um, I like I like what Cam did tonight. He earned he earned himself some um, uh, some minutes with that performance, and uh, I expect him to continue to continue to work and practice and get better. We'll go to James Mueller with the Cougar. James, go ahead, please. 
Yeah, coach, I know uh, Kieran Powell got in um, the last few minutes and it seems like he really brought some energy to the court. Of course, he had that put back dunk um, that really ignited the crowd. Can you just talk about what you saw from him even in the limited minutes tonight? What I see in him every day. He runs a hard worker. Our older guys have done a great job of uh, uh, leading him in practice and um, pushing him. Um, Justin and Bryson, especially. Um, you know, just don't lose sight of this. He's, um, he runs going to be a freshman next year. You know, he's, he's going to be a freshman next year. So this is a free year for him. He lose. There's nothing but positive with him, practice and, and games. Um, um, he took that jump shot on the baseline. I actually thought it would go in because that's his shot. You know, he makes that shot. It was a good looking shot. It hit right on the front of the rim, almost went in. But uh, Kieran's going to be a good player here. Um, but like most of our guys, he's uh, he'll, he continue to work hard. Uh, be patient. Wait your turn. You'll get an opportunity. We'll go to Joseph. Back to Joseph Duarte with the Chronicle. Joseph, go ahead, please. Kelvin, with the young guys, is this a little different? I mean, with the with the, I guess the bonus year or not counting against and how you'll choose to, to play him in, in terms of minutes? I mean, because I'm not sure how much they could play uh, in the old the old way uh, in terms of is it just one game and you lose your, your eligibility or how will you how will you dictate how, how much you give your young guys under this new bonus season? I try not to think of that, Joe. That's a good question. I, I try not to think about that too much because um, um, you, know, you bring an algebra into simple math. You know, we just, I just coached the game. You know, if opportunities present itself um, uh, to play those guys, uh, I will. But, you know, we've only played 11 games. You know, going into the day, we'd only play 10 games. Um, you know, and I still think we're a team that's evolving and uh, we'll, we'll get better. Our defense and our rebounding uh, is continuing to improve. But we can get better there too. I, I can always find something we need to get better at. I watch the film and make notes and I take my notes and come up with an edit and that edit will be a uh, teaching opportunity and show these guys where we need to get better. We'll take those, that's how we plan our practices off our edits. You know, I don't see what we did this time last year. Every team's different. You know, we've had to, we've lost a lot of guys around here to graduation over the years. I was telling Chris, you know, we lost, you know, four guys that started um, 17, 18 year. We lost four more guys that started uh, the following year. Um, four more guys that started off last year's team. So, you know, we've had a lot of uh, player movement. Um, but that's that's the way it is. That's why you build a program. And, and um, you know, it's hard to build depth uh, today. You know, it's, it's the most impossible to have depth. Um, because of, uh, you know, the way kids transfer today. Um, so, you know, for us, I just coach our, I just coach the team to the best of my ability. Sorry. Time for one more question. We'll Sorry to ask this coach up. Sorry, I was ahead. just checking, is everything okay with your eye? Or above yeah. your, okay. Yeah, yeah. Uh, that, 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 that John got hit about the same way I am. Uh, he can't. He had to come out and sit out. You saw what the old dude did. Gotcha. Last question we got for Chris Baldwin. Please, Chris, go ahead, the coach. Coach, how, how do you sort of – you talked about this a little bit. How do you sort of build Tremont's confidence back? And Does his development r remind you of any other, you know, players you've had? Um, obviously, the COVID ab absence makes it a, a little different. But Yeah. Tremont's, Tremont's a good player. He, he really is. Um, the, he's, he's not the same as he was, but he's getting closer. Uh, he still has a ways to go. But just putting him in there early, how many minutes did he get tonight? I didn't even look. Uh, 23 minutes. I wish I could have played him more. You know, when Dejan went, uh, bumped heads with that kid and had to sit out, first thing went through my mind was that um, now if Dejan wanted to come back, uh, I would have put him back in. That that I would I left that decision up to Dejan. You know he's earned that right. Um, but when he's when uh, I knew he wasn't coming in, you know 
uh, I, I immediately said, well, good. You know, that gives me a chance to play Tremont. You know, and he, he needs to manage. You know, he didn't play great. You know, he went one for eight, but that, that has nothing to do with the way he played. He was aggressive. He's looking for a shot. You know, he had uh, two turnovers the, uh, as soon as he went in the game and none the second half. He had three, he had three assists, no turnovers, and had some um, good-looking um, uh, shot attempts. You know, if he keeps staying aggressive, keep those, shooting those same shots, those, those balls will go in. Um, as far as comparing him to someone, um, you know, it's hard to, you know, he started so great. You know, Lamar, Boise, Texas Tech, South Carolina. Um, and after that was, you know, we had the long layoff, and then then we just got hit so hard. You know, he's still not to this level he was at, against South Carolina on December 5th. But, you know, we're just going to keep working him and working him. Um, you know, practice is over. We take all of our young guys and we, and we play four on four, uh, three on three. Uh, we're, we're always working on something. You know, player development and team development, is um, is what we focus on, but um, you know our our first uh, our our starters, uh, Reggie like Reggie uh, Bryson was so much better tonight because he's he, he had such a great attitude tonight and his his effort level was so much better. You know Reggie didn't get as many minutes, but Reggie when he did play was good. Uh, J Wan had eight rebounds. Tremont had five defensive rebounds. Um, sometimes. Our guy, certain guys' rebounds on our team are a little bit down because it's, they're hard to get because everybody's trying to get it themselves. You know, um, you achieve what you emphasize. You don't become an offensive rebounding team because you talk about it. If that was the case, then everybody would talk about it. It's not, it's not, it's not easy being good on defense. And it's not easy being good, being really good at rebounding. That, that takes a lot of commitment and hard work. Coach, thank you very much for your time. We do appreciate it. Congrats on the win, sir. Okay, thank you.